Hello everyone, in this video I am going to show you how to toggle password in the text field in the flutter. So see when I click on this security icon it is showing password and when I click again it is hiding the password. Let me start with importing a package and use import and within the quotations package and flutter slash material dot dot ok. So white main and within this main function let me use run app material app within this home and I'm going to you the class name here so let me give add a semicolon here and let me give email login okay so just type STF and create a stateful widget so give the class name here okay so don't forget to add parenthesis here now let me remove this container and I'm going to use a scaffold so within the scaffold widget I'm going to use a app bar parameter app bar within this title and text widget and within this text widget let me give toggle password example okay so we have added this title we need to add these two text fields here so use a body and within this let me use a column widget and let me use this children property because I am going to add two text fields and one riser button so let me use text field and first let me save and run this and you can see here an empty text will have added in the screen so we need to customize it using different parameters so first let me start with decoration parameter to decorate this text field I'm going to use a input decoration okay and within this I'm going to use a hint text and let me save and run this so it will just suggest you to enter whether your name or email or phone number so it's a field of email and next I'm going to use a label property so label text property so it is used to show the label text on the selected text field let me save and run this so you can't see here properly let me position it at the center so I'm going to use main axis alignment and main axis alignment dot center I hope you know that um, for the column main axis is from top to bottom so now if I run it see the text field have position dot center and the next property I am going to show you is border outline input border ok so I just have added it and now when you click on this text field now you can see the border have added to this text field and similarly I am going to add a text field for the password so let me copy this and I am going to paste it 
so i will just change this hint text to password and label text to password okay so you can see here there are two fields for email and password so you can type like this and if you want to hide this password you can just use a property called obscure text so let me use obscure text property so by default it is false so it will show the password i am going to make it true so when you type the password in the text field it will hide the password okay you can also add icon after the text or before the text so for now i am going to add an icon after this text like after the password so let me use a suffix icon to add an icon after the text if you want to add before the text you should use prefix icon so icon button and icon colon again icon within this parenthesis i am going to add a security icon so icon start security okay so let me save and run this so you can see here a security icon have added so if you want to toggle the password like by clicking on this icon button it will show the password and when you click again it will hide the password so for this you just need to invert the value in the obscure text okay so within this email login state i am going to create a variable so let me type its type and let me create a variable called is hidden password okay i am going to make it true i have assigned a true value here so add a semicolon and within this icon button i'm going to use arm tracer property and within this arm tracer let me invert its value like let me pass a variable called is hidden password within this obscure text so which we have created here and within this on tracer property i am going to invert its value like is equals to exclamatory mark and is hidden password okay so if it is false it will invert to uh, true and if it is true it will invert to false so let me i will use a set state function so this is a part of stateful widget when you click on this security icon this set state will get to know that something is changed in the ui then it will redraw the ui so let me type password so when i click on it it is showing the password and when i click again and it is hiding the password so similarly you can also change this icon depending on the value of obscure text like true or false so in the icons and before this let me use is hidden password and question mark so add a colon here and icons dot let me use a remove red icon so let me use this remove red i okay and so if is hidden password is true it will show the icon which is security icon and if is hidden password is false it will show this remove red icon okay so depending on true or false it will show the icon okay so when password is hidden it is showing a security icon so when i click on it it is showing a remove red eye icon and it is showing the password also see when i click on it it is hiding see when i click again it is showing okay that's it it is depending on 
the value which is in is hidden password okay so when i click on here i hope you could understand thanks for watching please do subscribe and like